Most glaucoma patients are treated with medicines, with eye drops, or with outpatient laser treatment. But for some patients, particularly those with the most aggressive forms of disease, surgery becomes an important part of saving their vision. Surgery is a scary thing for most patients, and they want to have people who do it on a regular basis and who study it effectively. At the Glaucoma Center of Excellence, we've recently reviewed 10 years of glaucoma surgical experience to look at what our successes and our complications have been. It's a center like ours that can talk about problems and complications, perhaps more than others do, not because we have more complications, but because it's our job to study them and to fix them. This 10-year review of over 1,000 operations taught us that a change we made five years ago has, in a very significant way, decreased the number of persons having problems and infections after glaucoma operations, which, while they're uncommon, can be very serious. At the same time, there are challenges remaining. We identified in this large review that 2% of patients were having a problem of being too successful. Their operations were leading to eye pressure that was too low. We're now going on with a further study that will try to eliminate even that small rate of complication for these operations. Trabeculectomy, the standard operation for glaucoma, involves making a safety valve-like opening for the eye in the upper part of the eye above the eyelid. Uh, invented about 40 years ago, the operation has been improved multiple times, and on two or three occasions, research done here at the Glaucoma Center of Excellence has led to improvements in either the success rate or in the lowered complication rates for the operation. But new operations that might replace and improve trabeculectomy are part of our research program. We assign one physician to become the expert in each new such procedure so that we vest the expertise and the experience necessary with each procedure in that person to review their experience before it is used by the other members of the team. Two such newer procedures are presently being evaluated on our service and we expect that among these new procedures, one or more of them will take a role in operating on some or all of those persons who have glaucoma. But our research programs are now engaged in trying to go beyond eye pressure lowering to treatments that through research would allow the eye to have its same eye pressure but without losing vision. These treatments are planned to be those that could alter the white part of the eye, the sclera, to make the eye immune, essentially, to higher eye pressure. This, in combination with present therapy, could lead to even better outcomes for persons with glaucoma.